As we look upon this chart, we see the eye picture of our relationship with our own God self. We can receive the sacred knowledge that has been sought in all the philosophies and religions of the world. The source of man, the purpose of man, and the goal of man is explained in this picture. Study this picture, dear ones, and you can have the full explanation of your life. And is told the future, what you shall be and express while in the physical world where you're going, what the future holds for you. As we just read in the magic presence, the explanation given by that great master, Saint Germain, this upper figure represents the electronic body in which dwells the individualized presence of God that is known to us now as the mighty I am presence. Saint Germain in explaining this magic presence has, ex has placed the word mighty as a part of its name to us because he says this presence truly is magical and mighty in the power that it wields. It is God in action producing a gigantic godlike service every moment of every second. And then he has explained that this represents the flesh body of man. This is the composed of the atomic substance of the, of the world, of this physical world. And this is composed of the electronic substance of light, which is that octave known as the ascended master's octave above, or heaven. This mighty I am presence then dwells in what the religious terminology has called heavenly sphere, and we dwell in that which is called the earth sphere. Now, this silver cord or silver ray that comes from the heart of this presence down into the heart of the lower figure is the connection between the so-called human and the divine self. Now, in reality, this great master has explained to the I am students in these books that there is no uh, separation between these two presents because this which you and I represent out here, really, we are the outer focus of the mighty I am presence above. We were set into action out here to express the glory of God to express his qualities, unfold his faculties of perfection upon the earth, and make of this earth his paradise, a sun of perfection. Then we, in relation to our presence, are just like our hand is to our body. The arm is the connection for that hand, the creative focus in our body to give form to the world of things. So it is and through this ray of light, we are connected with the body of God. This is described in the Bible as the, the uh, in image of God. When it said, man is made in the true image of God. This is the true image of God. The Ascended Master Saint Germain and those who have looked upon this electronic body of the mighty I am presence have always described that body as the most beautiful being, an angel. There have been those in the Bible who saw that presence and they called and described it as a guardian angel standing over them. A guardian angel. Now, we have come to know through the kindness of this great master, Saint Germain, that every person in the world has a guardian angel above them, if you want to call it that. Now then, from this, the heart of this great presence of life is flowing a stream of light. You can call it light. You can call it light or electronic energy. It's all one and the same. It is light, and it is our life, and it is energy. And this stream of energy comes through the pineal gland at the top of the head, down into the heart. It is anchored in the heart, from the heart of God, the mighty presence above. 
This is our connection with our, with our Father, our Creator. This energy then from the heart, or from the heart of our electronic body, to our heart is pure and perfect. It's crystal clear, beautiful substance of God. It has within it peace, love, beauty, opulence. It has harmony, kindness. It has all that is in God's heart. We are given a free will and a choice to choose from that energy or from that substance or those qualities whatever is needed in the world around us. We can take this energy into a condition where there is in harmony and command that harmony to go forth, be the harmonizing presence, and change the discord into harmony in a short time. We can send that forth into a condition needing peace, just as Jesus, the great master Jesus, manifesting this law perhaps to the outer world in a more definite activity and record than any other great one. He has expressed it in the Bible. The record of his experiences are all there. And he spoke to the energy within the storm and the waves, and he said to that energy, Peace be still. And the storm was silent. The waves were calm, 